Hey, what's up, my world tees? We're back at it again with another reaction video. Uh, this time we're reacting to police girlfriend allegedly stabbed boyfriend to death, currently facing no charges. Uh, that's crazy. I mean, if you're female, you have you have special privileges where you can just kill people. You can go out there just stabbing guys. Just because I'm female, girls can't do no harm. No, no harm. We're good to go. No, no foul. Nope, nope. We don't see anything. She's a female. It's a guy. He should have survived it. He should have. He should have used his strength to push her off of her. But as soon as the guy hit her, if the guy, let's say the guy hit her for self defense, he's gonna be on bars 20, 30 years, right? But he he smart enough not to hit her. He's just trying to maybe push her away. She probably st stabbed him with like a major artery. And he died, and she faces no charges. That's crazy, man. Life must be great to be a girl in America. Only only the United States. Only the West. Others other places, girls don't have these privileges. They don't have this you know this type of luxury lifestyle that they live in the west in america that they will live in like like middle eastern countries you know this stuff happened no she would never even have the option she wouldn't even think about stabbing somebody if she even talk back in some of these countries she'd get punished right so that's that's crazy but yeah here stab somebody who cares what we don't see anything get out of here but yeah let's get let's get into the video man i gotta i gotta i gotta i need more facts it's like this can't be right like this this man needs justice clearly i felt sorry for her his parents to be going through through this bs there are many unanswered questions as i have many unanswered questions please a answer allegedly killed by his own girl well, oh this so is my name hasn't she been charged or for a lot of their area like the south with southeast florida Stella. The big question is here was this done in self-defense miami police investigators say She's pretty royalty. She's pretty. She's pretty good looking. I'm not sure any royalties that live in the south uh, east part of uh, Florida. If you are you guys familiar with this news reporter, you know you guys know her uh, IG. Any royalties watching this video, please help a brother out. Put in the comment section her Instagram. I'm trying to slide in DMs. I'm really. I'm just trying to slide in DMs. Shoot my shot. I know she seems like a mouth. She seems like she's in maybe her upper 30s, but I don't care. You got to choose your shot. That this is an ongoing and very active investigation. Meantime, we spoke with a group of friends that knew this couple very well, and they detail a rocky relationship. It's just heartbreaking. Everyone is just so devastated. This trio was very close to 27-year-old Christian Obamselli and his girlfriend, who they've identified as 25-year-old Courtney Clenny. And only... We know why. Look how she looks like. Look how this guy looks like. We know why she's off. Fans model and Instagram influencer. So when police reported that Obamselli was fatally stabbed by Clanny on Sunday inside their Miami apartment, the friends were left speechless. They portray a very violent relationship at the hands of only one person. I've seen her hit him. I've never seen him hit her. My All point exactly, and you guys know why. Royalties, I don't need to go in much, much details between the dynamics between how she looks like and how he looks like. Bob predicted the whole scenario. He was not trying to hit her at all. She probably came with a knife. He doesn't try to hit her because he knows that he even touched that girl. He's going behind bars for 20 years. And look, I mean, look how big he is. He's strong. He knows he touched her. He, knocked, he could accidentally kill her by just hitting her. He knows that. So that's why he's probably pushed her off. She probably stabbed him in his heart, a major artery, and he just died, unfortunately. And it's just so sad that this this guy's parents can get no justice from this situation, man. Before Abumseli was stabbed in the shoulder, he died at the hospital. Told you, shoulder was probably like a major artery in there. What happened, and if Clenny acted in self-defense. From what we've personally experienced between the both of them, we believe that, like, Christian wouldn't put her in a position where she would need to stab him to protect herself. One neighbor who tells me that he has a very clear view of the couple's apartment said a week before the stabbing, things were off and that Clenny was the one getting physically abused. I could not tell if it was open-handed or close-handed, but he was swinging at her. Police say in the past three months, they've responded to multiple disturbance calls at the couple's apartment. Their mutual friends are still trying to process what went wrong. Even though that we really lost Christian only, it feels like we also lost Courtney at the same time because we didn't think that this is this is as far as it would have gone. And following the stabbing, yeah. Clenny was detained. She was brought here to the police department for questioning. And during that process, she was threatening to kill herself. So officers took her to the hospital where she was Baker acted. As it stands at this moment, 
She has not been charged. If That's you the say latest here from Miami, Sonella Sabovic, local 10 News. Sonella, thank you. Yeah. If you're an innocent, you're not thinking about I want to kill myself. If you're an innocent, you're thinking, hey, I will try to survive an ordeal because he was trying to strangle me. Let's say he was trying to strangle her. But if you knew you went out of your way to stab him, and maybe she was just angry, she was just actually trying to kill him, but she was just trying to stab him because girls can be crazy, and you accidentally killed him, that guilt will forever eat at you. Eat at you. If she not going to want to hope she does it, but she's probably thinking like that tonight that she wants to kill herself. So this is a forever torture. So either way, she goes behind prison or she feels the way, you know, she want to kill herself. She will forever be, you know, haunted by this. Again, hopefully that guy's family gets some justice and get her behind bars and she can do what she want to do in the bars there. That's up to her. But uh, either way, for both families, for all the friends, this is a major tragedy. In royalties, the moral of the story is if you have a toxic relationship, get out of it. It's not cute. It's, you're not cool. Yeah, you try to post stuff on TikTok and social media. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Stay away from it. Who cares? Just if it's a workout, does it work out? Let it go. It's, it's okay. It's some things you love so much, you got to let it go. It's okay. It really is. But royalties, that's it with this video. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification. And until next time, catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.